this video, we're gonna show you exactly how to break out of the matrix, how to go down the rabbit hole into your own consciousness, and how to understand more about yourself than ever before. Welcome back to another video. My name's Aaron, and I help people expand their consciousness. This is Lior Alexandra, Hi. who will keep your vibrations way, way, way up. And today we're gonna be talking about that of uh, more esoteric stuff. The other day we were, we were actually talking because uh, we're at this place in uh, Costa Rica called Rhythmia and here we do something called plant medicine for uh, three or four days in a row. We're doing this plant medicine where we go deeper into our own consciousness, do a lot of shadow work where we become aware of our like unconscious beliefs and whatnot. Yeah. And um, we had this conversation the other day and I remember after the conversation like we should have recorded that. Yeah. It was such a, it yeah, was it such was so a good. deep and oh, so different than the YouTube life changing stuff. conversation for me for sure. Yeah. It was really life changing. I felt like a little shift. And it was different. It's not something that I've ever talked about on my channel. Not even close. I'm sure that you sometimes. I've, I've touched on it before, yeah. but this will really be going into. We're going to go deep okay. in this video. The deep. So, um, so I guess the way we'll start it out that. Uh, so, Lior and I are here uh, for a whole week. With me in Costa Rica. Mm hmm. And how's your experience been so far? It's, I mean, now it's over. So. Now almost. it's over almost, and it's. The best thing I've ever done for myself. I can't wait to come back. Yeah. I can't wait. I didn't know. We're gonna do it next year. All yeah, we're gonna do it next week. Next year. Next, next year. year. All <laughs> week. All week. I kept saying. I kept thinking to myself like, because Aaron was saying, yeah, Lior's coming back for sure next year. I was like, uh, I don't know if I'm actually gonna come back. And now, and like, now I you can't know. wait. I want to be back. I already said it. Yeah. What I said was you just. You knew. You 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 saw the future. I did. I well, I kind of felt like I was like, yeah, yeah Lior's gonna come too. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And just so you guys don't know, if you guys don't know who Lior is, you should. And her YouTube channel will be linked below. Um, but she's one of my best friends. She's also an amazing YouTuber. She has great content, so check out her channel. You're you welcome. So I've never done anything like this, anything yeah. like Rhythmia at all. I've never done any hallucinogens, any drugs, really. Yeah, this is this is plant. Med no, it's fine. Yeah, so, just so you know, I had a little bit of a block about even sharing some of this video of talking about what Rhythmia is because it's a place where you come and you do plant medicine. And plant medicine is like uh, there's different names for it. I think ayahuasca would be the most common name people would understand it as. But you do that for three or four nights uh, while you're here, and you go deep and you purge out things that don't serve you. You have these realizations. It's very powerful. Um, however, it's a little bit more taboo in society, and I was like, what are people going to think of if I say this? But now I'm realizing that this is, it expands consciousness, um, you know, both Lior and I, we don't like, you know, do any anything other drugs or anything, like, yeah. We're not um, into that, that's not what, how we spend our time at all, you, you guys know what Aaron does, a lot of people know what I do, we just grow and empower people and just like live very healthy. Yeah happy lives and it's not like we're searching out ways to like get a the high escape or anything this is right. this is to go more within not to go out to heal you know we so are looking for more ways to heal even deeper so yeah so that's why we came here and um we came here this week we're with three or four other youtubers which is really cool so there's a whole bunch of youtubers here um and we had these experiences and lior not have having i know she's never really tried Anything other than you having alcohol every now and then, yeah, you know, yeah. but not like, you know, nothing, any mind altering stuff mm -hmm. like this, you know, so I didn't know how she was going to respond, but I felt like she would get whatever she was looking for. She'd have some type of transformation. So, um, and I didn't know that I actually didn't come here 100% deciding that I'm going to do anything, mm -hmm. but it just felt right. There was just this yeah. energy and like everything was just, everything is perfect. The way things happen is perfect. Yeah. Good or bad. And that's yeah. how I feel about this week. Um, we so yeah, so the first day, um, the first day we come in, we go into the ceremony at like 5.30 to, set to 6 at night, you know, and um, we all had our own experience, you know, and then just to kind of summarize that. So what was your experience like or mm. what that led to that conversation that we had over there? You know what okay. I mean? Well, that was the, the loop. third night, but okay, the loop. Yeah. So there was kind of a theme going on. So the first night I got stuck in this loop where I was, something was coming to the surface. The way that the plant medicine works is it brings things to the surface, so you have to feel them. 
and then it makes what what's coming is going is what they, exactly what yeah they keep saying so if it's coming to you if you're being if you're aware of it then it's leaving but i was really scared of this thing that's coming i didn't know what it was and i kept pushing it away and i got stuck in a loop and it just kept going and going and going and i got really really scared and ultimately it was beautiful but this went on into the third night and the third night this loop started again and I kind of remember asking, I was like, give me the truth. I want to see what the mm -hmm. truth is. And that's when I was shown that a part of me that's doing this plant medicine at that time is stuck in that moment forever, a part of me. Mm -hmm. And I was that part of me and I felt stuck and I felt like, like I had, I just felt like a prisoner to, mm -hmm. this, to this life. And then I kind of... I mean, I only saw one of the Matrix movies, but that's what it was. Mm -hmm. I was sh shown the truth and it looked like the Matrix, like we're hooked up to machines mm -hmm. and um, this is a simulation. All of life is a simulation. And I kept saying, this isn't real. This everything here isn't real. When the ceremony ended and everybody was kind of waking up, I was really angry at everybody. Everybody was sharing. Aaron was sharing. I wasn't mad at you. I, I know. Mad. I know. <laughs> yeah. When I heard you, I felt a little bit better. but. Um, everyone was sharing and I was just like, why are they doing this? What's the point? What's the point to all of this? Right. None of this is real. We're stuck here. Like this is a simulation. We're computer files. We're dragged and dropped. Like I had just this realization that things weren't the way that I always thought that they were. And you know, I'm mm -hmm. always, I've always been a very happy and positive person. I've never really felt that bad. And I felt so bad because it's as if my meaning and my, my reason to live was taken away from me. Right. Because it's like, oh, this isn't real. And I was so, so sad. I was sad. I woke up the next day much better and I was, I was sad until me and Aaron, Aaron and I had this conversation and he reframed it for me. And we'll talk about that. Yeah. But the way that, that this happened, that I had this experience and then it was reframed was also perfect. It's exactly the way that it had to be because I was waiting for a resolution while I was in the ceremony on the plant medicine and I didn't get it, but I wasn't ready for it. I had to kind of feel the sadness that I haven't felt in such in my entire life. I had to mm -hmm. really, really feel it. And then we talked and then it just, made so much sense and i mean you can tell them why it felt so bad for me it's because i didn't yeah resonate with yeah it. so it, it, a lot of a lot of we can feel of the emotion of how we feel when we look at certain ideas so i remember leor came up to me one of the nights and she looked she had this sad look in her face and like me um i have this relationship with leor to where like i i feel i don't know i we couldn't even be beds close to each other because i'd be too worried about her not worried like a worried parent but <laughs> Um, I wouldn't be able to have my own experience yeah, without focused, thinking of her yeah. because like I, I just kind of that protector, you know what I mean? That's kind of the, the vibe that I get with her. Um, and, and when she came up to me, she kind of looked at me and she goes, we live in a matrix and none of it's real. And she was kind of saying like a question, like none of it's real, right? I wanted confirmation. She wanted confirmation from yeah. me and I couldn't be inauthentic and say that it's not a simulation or it's mm -hmm. not the matrix because it is we're in the matrix in a certain way, in the way that I'll explain to you in a way, in a, in a, in a minute. But so I was like, kind of like, yes and no, you know, but I knew that I could explain it more than she'd understand it. And I was like, I promise you that if, you know, we, exp if we go deep on this idea, then you're going to see that it's not as scary as you think. So what I did is we, there's a location over there that we were talking. I was like, let's get away. Cause there's so many people here. It's like, let's get some time to where we could just kind of talk about it for a minute. And we started going deep on the concept. And basically what I was sharing with her is that we do live in a form of matrix, like our senses that we experience through our sense perceptions, we're vi these are interpreters of vibration. So the thing is, is unless you're aware that you are in a matrix, if you are at the effect of everything in your life, then you are at the effect of the matrix itself. Like everything is controlled in a way because you're at the whims of everything else. You're at the whims of circumstance. You're not aware of it. And what the way that I explained it to Lior is, that you are an immortal spiritual being. You are so much more than just this one physical structure that you have. And because you're so much more than that, it's like you, the, the part of you that's scared of knowing that is the ego part that wants to really remain attached to the form itself. And what that was showing her that night is that she is actually so much more than she could have imagined. And the way that I explained it to her is that we are immortal spiritual beings living a temporary human experience. 
Energy exists and will always exist. You cannot create nor destroy energy. It just is. We are energy. We are consciousness. Now what happens is from a soul perspective, we are unconditional love, bliss, joy, peace, enlightenment. When we feel those emotions, it feels good because it's who we naturally are. Now what happens is when we come into this life, we start to become programmed by the matrix, programmed by society, by our friends, by our family, by circumstances. And it makes us into this certain structure of the ego, thinking we are the ego. Now the key is knowing that that's just a certain perspective of us. That's just a certain part of us. But in actuality, we have come from higher dimensional forms of existence of this unconditional love and bliss. And we have incarnated into this matrix, into this system. It's just that we use for this system, we use our body, which is the interpreters of vibration to have this current life experience. And if we feel something, if we're focused on a perspective that feels like a lot of negative emotion, that negative emotion is telling us that that's not who we really are. So yeah. in the moment that Lior was focused on this perspective, I was like, that's, it's not that it's untrue that we live in a matrix. It's just that the way it's being interpreted isn't in alignment with the truth yeah. and understanding that you are an immortal spiritual being that exists in higher states of consciousness and that you just temporarily put your form here because this is like a school. This is like a game. This is a dream. We think it's so real. This dream appears to be very real because it's so continuous because we have these sense perceptions, but in actuality, it's something that we're having for a certain experience, but that we chose that we chose yeah. and we chose yeah. to be here. Yeah. So and that's what made me feel so much better because then you realize it's not like you were put here to right. Gavin. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, cause then you realize that you weren't put here for that reason or, you know, you, you realize that there's a deeper meaning here, to right? life. I chose to come here because there was something that I needed to experience and mm -hmm. wanted to experience here. I'm not a prisoner to this dream. No. I chose this dream. And if anything, so right. you chose this dream as well, because right now I believe, I mean, it's kind of a personal belief, but you look around, you'll see kind of evidence of it. There is a transformation happening on the planet where more and more people are awakening to who they are. And as people awaken to more of who they are, it starts to change the way that we relate to the dream itself and how we relate to this whole experience. And there's this transformation going right now. So the purpose of a lot of what we're experiencing in our life is because it's all in alignment with what's happening, this transformation, just being aware that we're in a matrix and that the matrix itself is something that's there that once you're aware of, you can then see how you navigate through it in a new way. And the truth of the matter is though, the only thing that is real, I remember I kept telling you that day, the only thing that is real is that you are love. Yeah. That is it. Everything else is not real. It's, it, it might seem real. The negative emotions will seem real, but those are just, those are just identification with thoughts that we're having. We may think thoughts, but we are not our thoughts. Mm -hmm. So it's like the more we became aware and what Lior went through, I think is it started that experience that you had that was negative because it was like, we live in a matrix that was breaking apart her beliefs yes. of reality in general. Because when you believe that things are very solid, they will be very solid. When you believe that reality is a certain way, reality will always be that way because you buy into it so much. But what that did is it shook up her belief system and said, okay, reality is not what you think it is. Reality is more flexible. Reality is about alignment. It's about love. Love is the only thing that is real. And it, then it kind of shifted you into a state to where you're like, this is all that's real. You know, what is real? Well, what does it matter? It's, it's the experience that's real. And that's what I, I remember I kept telling you too. It's the yeah. experience that's yeah. real. Yeah. You and know? I feel like, yeah, I was so, so attached to my idea of what's real mm -hmm. and now I'm not. That's, that's what had to happen. That was your miracle. It was my miracle. It was her miracle. She, <laughs> and, and you can tell now cause her, your energy is so free and her energy honestly has been very free. She's like one of the most authentic <laughs> people I know, you know, and she's always had this very open energy, but I can just feel it within her now that it's shifted this level of empowerment where you realize that you don't have to buy into the old beliefs, mm -hmm. you know, cause our beliefs create our reality. And when we're here, what we were learning is all these beliefs that we acquired when we were young, that we started to let go oh, of. Yeah. And now that we've let go of them, it's uh, it changes it's everything. Freeing. It feels so free. And yours was the ultimate because yours was your belief about reality itself. Mm -hmm. And I said this quote to her the other day that I, I don't know who coined it or if I even coined it, but, I've never really heard it before, but the more you realize that life is a form of dream, the more dream like your life will become. I love it. New mantra. That's it every I day. It. It's an it. affirmation <laughs> on my beer, you know, and add another one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're going to have to make room for one over here. Um, 
but yeah, it's it, when you change your when you when you realize that life is more than you priorly thought, that you are an immortal spiritual being. That is that when you go to bed at night, you wake up to these higher states of consciousness, but your brain doesn't remember it. And I remember kind of explaining that as well. Like your brain can only re remember the things that it relates to. So you get si you get these symbolic subconscious things of, oh, last night in my dream, I was in the eighth grade and this happened and this, well, that's the way the brain interpreted it. But when you go to bed at night, you wake up to these higher states of consciousness that is not bound by time and space. Harry Potter, I know we're both huge Harry Potter fans. The reason <laughs> I think we like Harry Potter is because Harry Potter land is closer to reality than this reality. Gold. So like when I read all the Harry Potters, I, w I got out of it. I was like, I like to be a muggle. It's not so much fun. Mm -hmm. You know, there's it's so much fun in the magic and life is really meant to be magical. But in this matrix right now, there's a belief consensus of reality where a lot of people believe that magic isn't real. So right. there are beliefs about reality. That's what you get. Exactly. It manifests. You know? it's, it's this agreement that we have, this subconscious agreement. That Between everybody. Us, yeah. The, our collective consciousness. I guess that, that honestly makes sense because the whole Harry Potter thing because whenever I like since I was a kid and I read the books whenever I'm anxious whenever I'm feeling low vibration I always reach for the book and reread one of the books yeah so I feel like it makes sense because that resonates more with my true soul with my true self mm -hmm. and I had something else to say and I forgot it but the more the more you let life be magical the more la magical life will yes. become because it oh, life is meant to be magical I remember you yeah. said you said this to me like um, that our higher selves, these selves that go, that sleep and have this dream, um, we don't, we can't remember the dream because it's so much better Yes. that we wouldn't want to be here. Exactly. And that, that resonated too. a lot with me yep. because that shows me that we're not hooked up to machines. No. And yeah. the movie, the matrix uses a certain symbol, symbolic type form and it, it had action parts in it and it had this whole storyline. Yeah. yeah. But in, in actuality, I said, well, you could look at the ego as a machine. The ego could be a machine, but the right. thing is, is it's we're organic, exactly. Mm -hmm. But it's organic, like our minds are still programmed from our environment, but when you start to see it more so as it goes beyond that, it's, it's we're organic, it's this and that. Mm -hmm. It's yes, we might be somewhat, we might have programming in our mind of our past experience, but we can reprogram it, which is powerful to know, but also it's still organic. So it's not like we live in a computer that's cold and there's no emotion. The only thing that's true in life is that we are love. Everything else is an illusion, it's an identification, and it's not really actually true. The experience of it will feel real, but it's a temporary blip that we eventually become aware of. But it's, it's also not, you know, if you're watching this video right now, you cannot perceive of that which you are not the vibration of. So if you're watching this video right now, maybe some of these ideas are starting to open you up to who you really are, because the truth is, is you are an immortal spiritual being, you exist in these higher dimensions right now, you're dreaming this is who you are, and when you go to bed every night, you wake up as that you. But if you knew that, if you were playing a video game and you knew that it was a video game, you don't take it as serious. Right. But if you play a video game that you believe is really real, this is real, mm -hmm. you respond to it differently. And then the power though and is- You think that you have one life, so you respond to it. And you respond to it, yeah. you, there's more meaning behind mm -hmm. it. And there's a purpose behind it. But eventually what happens is then you become aware that it is a game. Because one of the purposes of the, is of the game of life is that you become aware that it is a game, that it is a dream, that it is this experience. Because when you become aware of it, then you can change the rules. But if you're at the effect of the whole entire dream, then you'll just remain at the effect. So it's, it's about that shift into that awareness of, but you have to become aware of it first. So Lior is not just becoming aware of it, she experienced it. And that experience, that one experience, shifted her whole beliefs about life. And now her life will continue to change. So it'll be curious to see how your life changes from yeah. now going forward, because I can already see a difference in her. But it's, uh, I think it'll- It's gonna be more beautiful. Yeah, I think so. I think you'll feel more free and yeah. even more yeah. empowered and knowing that you are formulating and going in the direction that you want. I definitely feel like that's where it's going. And that I wanna come back here again. Yes, <laughs> come back to Rydnia. Get deeper. Cool. So uh, we should have conversations like this more often. Yeah, we really should. Yeah. I'm going to one day come to Vegas. I know. A, <laughs> if you think that Lior should come to Vegas, could you please comment below so that I could like screenshot and send it to her so that she'll eventually make it. I go to LA sometimes, but uh, I just like my house. Okay. Yeah, you, brought, you, you flew in a private jet to Vegas once. Okay. Sure. I, I tried to see you that, that trip. Uh, you did text me. I did. And it was all, it was in the beginning too, when we heart, we was, knew of each other, but yeah, now we know yeah, each we other a lot met, more yeah, deep. So. True. So we'll make um, it happen. Anyways, Lior Alexander's channel will be right below. Thanks She's for awesome. listening to my story, guys. Thank <laughs> you for being here. 
Um, yeah, we had a ton of fun. We, we last day here, we get ready to go back home tomorrow. So it's back to the hmm. real world. The real world. What is real? What is real? I don't know. What is it? Real? We'll have to we'll have to make another Love. one of these videos one day. Love is real. <laughs> and uh, we have a video on your channel yes. as well that yeah, we yeah, just yeah. made. That's it's a good one. Yes, check it out. You'll see it in the link in the description below. Monday. There we go. Yeah. Other than that, we want to thank you for being here. We love you. Peace, much love, and namaste.